Hey everybody, welcome to Heavy Metal. Today out here on the range, uh, as y'all know, I love hitting the Dollar Tree and picking up a bunch of stuff to shoot. This idea popped into my head. I had these big mega my size, 210 roll of paper towels. And y'all know me, I love to shoot the 22. Got a little Smith & Wesson 622 out here with us. So it begs the question, how many of these will it take to stop a 22 long rifle? We're shooting just some basic uh, CCI, lead round nose, uh, 40 grain, what I call just regular range type ammunition. Nothing fancy fancy too much. And what I've got set up for this shoot is, as you see, I have four of them that we're going to shoot at, and I got a backer there for safety. So y'all throw down in the comments, what do you think? You think four rolls of these will stop the 22 long rifle? They're uh, eh, fairly packed, but they're not like really, really tight packed. Uh, I'm going to guess and say that it'll make it into the third roll. I don't think it'll make it to the fourth, but I could be wrong. But let me uh, move the cameras around and get this set up. We'll make a shot. Y'all throw down in the comments what you think is going to happen. All right, we got one in the mag. If y'all ain't never seen it before, if this firearm is clear. That is the mag release. Yeah, just that little uh, indention thing down in there. thought that was pretty neat. But there's one in our mag. Grab our fancy fancy headphones. Let's move this. this is 22. I caught in another video. That was cool. I'm hoping that we can catch a 22 on this one. There we go. Headphones on. Camera's rolling. Yep. Camera's rolling. Let's see what we're going to get out of this, guys. I'm going to stand approximately, well, what is this, about five feet away? All right, fire in the hole. Don't you hate when that happens. I think that it's about time to uh, clean this fire off. Try it again. Time to grab another shell. That one may have been bad. All right, third time's charm, I reckon. Yes, it was. We're clear. All right, yeah, we got his good center shot. I can see the entrance right there. Well, let's run up here closer and just see what actually happened. All right, guys, as you can see, there was our entrance there. So that's our first one. And yes, she made an exit. There's our entrance on our second. Wow, she made a good size exit, didn't it? That's looking pretty wicked. And our third one. Wow, carrying a lot with it, ain't it? Wow, and it actually came out of the third one. Well, there went my guess. And here's the fourth one. There's an entrance. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Now, I just turned this around. I'm just going to roll the camera upwards. Are y'all seeing that right there? Now, how did that bullet end up right there? It went in. Yep, 
Yeah, we definitely got to get that out of there. Ooh, it held a shape good, didn't it? There's a little bit lopsided on that first. Well, that is weird. So I reckon the uh, answer to the question is, how many? Four, that's how many. Okay, that was our entrance. And yes, it did go through, as y'all can see, if you look down in there, and it went in, and just escaped, just enough out of that little tear right there. And got caught in the plastic. Now that's a trip. Well, guys, I mean, how do we call that one? Technically, it went through four, and the outer plastic wrapping is the only thing that stopped that bullet from probably just falling out on the table, or whatever. Well, I'm going to say, if you're making body armor out of paper towels, go with five just to be on the safe side if you're being attacked by a 22 long rifle at short range. <laughs> but, I mean, it is what it is. At least we did catch the bullet. That was pretty cool. But I want y'all to stay tuned for a future video because we still have all these nice paper towels. They're still intact really well. So, I want to dig up uh, just a little bit of a hotter caliber and we're going to do this test again with them. But as far as this one goes, I think that was pretty neat. Where did the bullet go? There it is. They was able to catch our little 22 LR in the plastic on that fourth one. Yeah, let's uh, make that one a keeper too. I know I keep about every bullet that I catch, that's for sure, and drop that one. Well, that's what it is. Well, guys, appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, that was a fun one. Always love getting old Smith out here and shooting it. That thing is just, uh, just awesome. Well, everyone, again, thanks for watching. If you would, throw me down some comments, uh, questions, suggestions. Always happy to check them out if you're able. Hit us up on Patreon, and please like, share, and subscribe. Again, thanks for everything. Until the next one, I hope that y'all have a fantastic day.